I sold my entire video game collection so I could take $5,000 to the Great Ohio Toy Show and buy the craziest, gnarliest stuff I could possibly find. Yeah. A box was a necessity for me, so that's cool. Yeah. Well, you told me. For the pair? Yeah. Okay. They don't love me. <laughs> I mean, it's in great shape. Hey, man. Anthony. Hey! How it's you doing? very nice to meet <laughs> you. Too, you too, man. man. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Finally. Yeah. Um, what do you have on the bat right there? Oh, what are you yeah. doing on the bat? Ghoulie Beal. The mad bat. bat. It's got a little issues, dude, but... It's got some cracks, I see, but... Yeah, yeah. My best one will be 150. One, okay. Uh, what about these knockoffs here? Those aren't knockoffs. Those are the 2006. Oh, okay. I do have okay. some knockoffs in here as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those are 25 each. These are 40 each. The... That's the same series as that one. That was 30 because it's looking at the tag. Okay. 30 on that dude, too, and 30 on that screen name knockoff. Okay. Let's see. And then I've got a couple more and some totes. Do you? Whatever I get. That's oh, a pretty cool. rare one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then just a regular vintage horn head. Okay. How much are these? I do 50 on that one. That one's 80. Okay. If you want both of them, I do 110. Okay. Cool. There you go, man. Thank you, brother. Thank Appreciate you so much. Froggy flips? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I think I follow you on Instagram. Uh, Toxic Slob on Instagram, but we're gnarly toy box also. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is sweet. Series one crackhead. <laughs> Graded an 80. And you said 130? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. And then what'd you say on those two Ghostbusters? Did you have a price on those? You can tell me with I put, I don't know, put nothing. How much I fed for you? Um. I don't even know what they go for. I never see them. So they're missing the backpacks. I got a price in mind. Uh huh. I wanted 140, but I can do 120. Okay. Well, you told me. For the pair? Yeah. Okay. So 250 total? Yeah. 250 cool, man. Total. Thank you so much. You got a, you got a celebrity. Yeah. Your booth. <laughs> he's. Him. Yeah, don't look he's. at me. I've always wanted to buy from him. <laughs> I consider him my friend. Yeah. We're from you. Yeah, I see. No more celebrity for me. And what's your name? Charlie. Charlie. I'm from Chicago. Thank, Thank you so much. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Well, good seeing you in the flesh, brother. Thanks, man. You too. All right. Good luck to you. you too. Okay. What about crackhead? 40? Okay. Okay, drag it up. 40, 40, 20, and 10. 40, 40. So it's 110, let's do 100 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Where are you set up? Uh, nowhere. Oh. Okay. No. Just buying. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, man. How's it going, man? Find anything yet? Froggy, how are you doing, man? Good, man. Already filling Dude, up. Dude, you're already filling, filling up. Filling already. Up. Tons of mad balls <laughs> around here, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're everywhere. There's a I bunch of loose series out. two over there. Okay. Did you find anything yet? Not yet. No, no. I've only just walked like one aisle, so. <laughs> yeah. But I'm free. It's here. overwhelming. For sure. <laughs> it's definitely. I heard there were muscle months around here somewhere. So. Yeah, there's one over there. Is there? The glass case. Ooh. You already sold three. Dang it. Apparently, oh. in the case right there. There it is. Ooh. Night killers. Oh, oh, cool. Cool. Night fighter. Did you already saw them dogs? Uh, street charts. Ooh. Ooh. That's awesome, man. Congrats. I mean, I got so much yeah, extra good stuff yeah, that's cool. I haven't put out yet. So man. make sure you come back I'm to gonna, Okay. I'm going to go try to sell something for $20. <laughs> All right. What do you have on the muscle mutt? The what? Uh, I got nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. I had four. That's yeah, that's what I heard. I just need one. That's all I care about. That's a cool one, though. Yeah. It's, it's really good condition. And then what's that guy right there? Skull Force. It's a bootleg. Okay. Yeah. And he has... Just like the regular. Don't have one of these. I do not have one of those. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you can put any Galaxy Warriors weapon with that. So even though it might be within the weapon, That's it's cool. Fine. Like you just need it's like that axe. Yeah. Thing. Um, in in grade, I think. 
they have a variant. So this one is the the green, uh -huh. and then you have a red one. That's the only two in the line. That's really cool. Yeah. It's, up, it's, 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 hey man, how you doing? Good, good. It's it's what they were going for, like. A we have a years ago. Yeah, I saw that. That's that's. What would you think, Bruce, if? If uh, I did the muscle mutt and the skull force, and I went like yeah. the muscle mutt and, and the skull force, um, <laughs> I do that skull force for fifty bucks. If you okay, do that. so nine fifty. I'm on nine. Okay. Nine even. I'll just throw that in. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh, muscle mutt did it. You did it. Yeah. Oh, Finally. Oh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank time. you guys for shopping. I needed that. He was the nicest condition. I don't know why he didn't say. Yeah, that's crazy. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Only for that one figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Cool. I'll see you soon. What line are those, Matt? You know? They're like those. Warriors of the Galaxy. Those okay. are Rim, I think those are Remco knockoff wrestlers. Okay. You'd have to look at the maker mark on them for sure. That's pretty cool. I traded a bunch of CDs for those. Oh, did you? The guy put a post up said I want music CDs and I have these toys and trade them. I, had I remember you talking CDs. about that deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you got the Motu. Uh, yeah. Right yep. That cassette. Oh, no. What do you think about that on a trade for the Hulk? That's fine. Nice. Good. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yep. Can we take these now, then I'll bring it back to you later? Yeah. Okay. I won't forget. It's in I my front seat. Oh, what's that fellow right there? That's that one, the uh, Warriors of the Galaxy. Remember I told you I didn't know they made them in metal? Yeah. Instead, he should be that size in plastic. That's cool. But he's really heavy. And... That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I meant to ask him if he had some. I'm going to go ahead and buy this one, too. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yep. Um, I'll come back around and see you, okay. and I'll bring the Hulk yeah. to you. Thank, thank you. Hey, man. Nice to meet you. Hey, I, man. I love, 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 love your Oh, thank videos. you so much. What's your name? Oh, I'm Andy from uh, Dark Ride Dracula. Oh, nice. Yeah, you check it out. Um, cool. A lot of people watch our channel, watch your stuff. Everybody's like, check out Froggy Flips, and then I check it out. I'm like, man, you make fantastic videos. Awesome. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Stuff. Dark Ride Dracula. Photo cells from the cartoon. Pretty awesome. I gotta do 40 on that too. 40? Okay. Alright, I'll do that. That's cool. That's cool. Sweet, man. Deal. Love it. Thank you. Can I see the funny ball? Yep. Sweet. I can do 40 on that too. Okay. So, 80 total? Yep. Very cool. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Good to see you. You too. You guys finding stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. A few bits in there. These, these are just stuff to flip when we get back. Oh, nice. These are easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> Very cool, man. Yeah, cool. What about you? Oh, what yeah. Got, back? got the uh, Ghoulieville. Ghoulie, yeah, cool. Ghoulieville. That's hard to say. This is the big one for the day, though. Let's see, I got the, uh, got the old mutt there. Oh, did that off of. Uh, uh, I got it from Bruce. Bruce, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. nice. Hey, man. How you doing? Anthony. Anthony. Uh -huh. I should know that. Oh, that's okay. What's your name? Mark. <laughs> Mark, nice to meet you, man. Do you still need it? The Taco Terrorist gun? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. How much is that one? 15. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Every, every time they're open, Yes. Like yeah. That would be, I'd be curious about running numbers on that, how, what it would take versus. How much you have on those? They're, they're six bucks a piece. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10, so 60 plus 45. Would you like 90 bucks on this and those? Yeah. You yeah, like 105? Cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Those are cool. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, uh, what do you have on that monster knockoff down there? The uh, Sun Gold 50? Okay. Uh, would you like 80 on these three? Uh, it's 90. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so cool, much. You bet. Can I take a look at the ring? Yeah. I was already up playing with it. Right? <laughs> yeah, the kid I bought the collection off of, I don't think he ever played with his toys. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, these are tough to find, but yeah. a box was a necessity for me, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, you said you do 150 on it? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep, no problem. Thanks yeah. so much, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah, enjoy, man. Thank you. What's up, What's up man? How you doing? Oh, Good. I've got a gift for you, man. I know you like the weird stuff. I do like the weird stuff. Sharks. So here's a little weird oddity for you. Oh, that's Bar the soap, <laughs> yes. I saw this at Comic-Con last week, but his was all messed up, so I didn't buy that it. That one's a little, little oh, funky, but this one's a lot better. 15 years or so. That's awesome, man. Thank you. You're welcome. You're did I, welcome. Oh, no. I didn't miss him this time, did I? I sold the two vehicles I had. I had okay. the tank and the jet sealed. Wow, oh, they made guys? I don't know. Two bins. That's probably my personal favorite out of those because it's so weird in the remote control car. Hey, it is cool. That's pretty awesome. I already got the card last time, but I'll give you a flyer sure. for our convention we do. You know, a good buddy of mine runs the whole thing. And oh, very cool. And where are you out of? Is it? Wilston. Wilston, okay. Yeah, like hour and a half south of you. Gotcha. That's probably the hardest one to find. I really? Here, well, let's do that one then. Cool. I like that. You got it? Call it 180. 180. I love Thanks it, man. Sir. Thank you. Do you want a bag for that? Um, I think I can shove it in one of mine. Awesome, man. Thanks again. Good to yeah, see you. Take it easy. Um, what do you have on the Mad Balls lunch box up there? Yeah. Um, what do you have I'll on the Mad Balls lunch box up there? Okay, cool, right, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Is that everything? Okay. You're froggy for I am, Anthony. Man, How's it going? Ryan, nice to meet you. I'll watch the security videos. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, I was just asking about the Mad Balls lunch box. Mad Balls. I mean, I do like 50 bucks. Yeah, I do 50 bucks. There's no thermos, though. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank you. They don't love they don't love me. I mean it's in great shape. Are you the Ryan like with the crazy like uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah. A lot of mutual friends there. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we have a we have a museum. Oh know, yeah. Uh, like forty five minutes from here. I've seen pictures, it's crazy. Awesome, yeah. It's awesome, man. How long are you in town for? Uh just today. today. Yeah. I live in Indiana, not far. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. So you know, the, you know froggy flips, Dan? Oh, froggy yep. flips? Yeah, you ever watch his uh, his videos on like YouTube and like Facebook? Not like, yet. <laughs> How many followers do you have? Four hundred and three thousand. Dang. Yeah. Well, consider it four thousand three hundred and one. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank nice you. to meet you. I'm uh, Dan Fazello. Dan, nice to meet you, man. Nice Anthony. What's up, man? Uh, really packing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. I guess so. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, that's right here on one of the Pirates of the Galaxy, so like the Red Skull. Oh yeah. Dude, so, how that? It's, uh, is that Crossbones? Is that... Yeah, I don't know what it means. Yeah, by those heart. are cool figures. Yeah. Well, we came up here hoping to run into you guys. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate that. I'm awesome. I'm a lifelong collector, and I've been watching you, and it kind of changed how I'm doing things. Oh wow. Like, why didn't I think of this stuff earlier? <laughs> Well, I'm very sorry. I was keeping everything in jars. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. But I kept everything in jars. And now we set the back porch on weekends separating. Set it free. I love oh, it's it. Been fun. It's awesome, it's been man. Really fun. Very cool. What's your name? My name's Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. Anthony. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Did you find anything yet? Nothing. Crazy. Uh, I bought this for my friend. He was looking for it. He wanted a nice box copy. Oh, that's cool. The Battle of Olympus. Uh, Doing for others, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Not really my style. Well, good luck, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, man. I don't think I need that one. You don't need this one? I don't think so. Yeah, so what do you think on this pile right here? This way, too? Yeah. So, so all those. I would do three. Three, okay. Three, right. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Appreciate it, man. You have a good day. All right, you too. What do you think on these two? This is 40 bucks. Uh, 30? 30, sure, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, brother. Take care, man. Good to see you again. The best I can cook you up, mm -hmm. how about we do 500? Oh, yeah, for both? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome, man. Thank you. There we go. And Appreciate that. Yeah, man, you have the best stuff. It's great. Oh, how much is that? That one? Yeah. I can. I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> I can 2,000 the back. It's a ceiling back. But I can do 18. Okay. I'll think about that one. Okay. I definitely don't need it. It's cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Good to see you again. Uh, I think I have room in this one. I'm just getting clunky over here. Um, that's cool too. That's the other one for the line. Yeah. How much is that one? Give me one twenty. That's fine. Go for like one fifty. You know, a hundred. Hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Awesome, man. Thank you again. I always thank you for your video. Oh yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that.
Well, All right, man. Sir. Good, good. I'm getting them. I'm going to get the Mad Balls, and I'm going to get the Goonies yeah, key for my wife. Okay, yeah. So it was 220? Yes, sir. Do you awesome. Back? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bubble wrap that. Um, okay, apple. cool. Thank you. Teddy, man. This is um, Froggy Flips, famous YouTuber. <laughs> famous. <to> me. Watch <laughs> all yeah. this. I tell you about him all the time. Um, he bought the Mad Ball. Eddie painted the Mad Ball. I 3D printed Oh, nice. Awesome. I love Mad Balls, man. It's very cool. But remember, I told you I made it for him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> he knew. He knew. Yo, man, Anthony, what's up? Matt, how are you? Matt. <laughs> you gotta wait. <laughs> oh, never met. No. No, it's crazy. They're doing too much. Man, Stridor, too, that's cool. Yeah, it really turned out nice. He's all magnetic. So everything. That's awesome. And then it's all removable. And, it's, and I did the um, gauntlet. Yeah, I know. I was not, I was not expecting it's very cool, man. Your prices are awesome. Oh, I appreciate you. I just, yeah. I just wanted to get them out there to people. So yeah, very cool. Yeah. I saw you had that big one. Mm -hmm. Everybody keeps asking me, you do that for him? I was like, no. I love that. I did make this one for him. It's going to look great with it, man. I appreciate it. I want to introduce you to him. He's a really cool guy. He's oh, yeah, sure. That's fine. He's a YouTuber like you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being This is my Foggy Clips. Hey, man. Anthony. Hey, How it's you doing? very nice to meet you. <laughs> you too, man. man. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I figured I'd, I'd meet you because you guys, did you ever meet him? He said no. I said, well, yeah, you I've never met him before. I think we've been in the same building a couple we times. We have been, yeah. I think it's so funny, like you in Indiana last year, mm -hmm. you like walk by What's and scan my table. A thousand people tagged me. <laughs> you're you're in the background of Froggy's video. I was like, that is so funny. <laughs> it's like I love when people do that. Small world. Yeah, it really Absolutely. is, man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We do a picture together? Yeah, yeah, sure, man. You want to take a picture for me, dude? Thanks, so, man. Hey, I always look awkward in them. Well, I'm glad thank you so much, yeah, man. You it's too. really nice, nice meeting, meeting you, awesome. dude. Your stuff's awesome. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. You too. Appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, awesome, man. You brought us together. That's cool. Such a moment. I'm so happy. I'm so absolutely happy. <laughs> that's great. And I actually made this for him. I was oh, like, I just got done shooting that. It's that's huge, awesome, man. I love it. I love it. Very cool. Hello again. What's up, man? Can I take a look at that Galaxy Heroes you got there? Yep. Missed that the first time around. Okay. Those are so horribly awesome. Uh, About 5,000 pennies. 5,000 pennies. Which is 50 bucks, right? Love it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, you're welcome. Appreciate you. Hey, man. 20 in the bag. Okay. Do you have any room on both of them? Uh, I can do 40 on those. Okay. So like 190? Yep. Cool. That, that works. Thanks, man. Sounds yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, awesome, man. Thank yeah, you so much. No Toxic Crusader ones, really. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, these are the tops ones, yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's good. Now, do you get any... I'll give you 100 bucks on the box. Right? I was going to offer you 100 bucks. Oh, Deal. <laughs> Deal. Good, great minds. Think <laughs> there you go. Thank you, man. Do you mind if I steal the price tag? Yeah, go for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is this you right here? Yes. How much do you have on this? I have 200. 200? Okay. 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 It's pretty neat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. I, I see your videos. Oh, awesome. I enjoy them. Cool, cool. Thank What's you. your name? My name's Scott. Scott, nice to meet you, man. Thank nice you so much. You. Appreciate that. Yeah. I could do a little better if you're interested. Okay. What are you thinking? One seventy-five. Deal. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you, you so much, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. Take care now. All right, man. You too. Yeah. And we made it back to the showroom. So I sold my entire video game collection so I could take $5,000 to the Great Ohio Toy Show and buy the craziest, gnarliest stuff I could possibly find. I talk about the Great Ohio Toy Show all the time, but just in case you're unaware, it takes place twice a year in Xenia, Ohio, every March and every October. It's put on by Rob and Danielle, the owners of Route 68 Vintage Toys and Collectibles and the Route 68 Toy Mall. And it's just an insane toy show that I look forward to every single time. Now the $5,000 thing is not a flex. I never take that sort of a budget to a toy show, but let me give you a little bit of a background. Every year I pick up video games when I see them and the price is right at yard sales or flea markets, from collections, bulk buys, whatever. I pack them away, store them away after I kind of go through everything. After about a year, year and a half, I do one big deal, like one big trade or I sell it all off to one person. This year, 
because the Great Ohio Toy Show is so enormous, so overwhelming, I never go in with a game plan. I figured that I would just have that video game lot create the majority of my budget for this show so I could go in, take in the full experience, and not be saddled with any restrictions. So there was a lot of effort that went into this adventure, a lot of moving parts. About a week before the show, a couple local pickers, Retro Rewinder and Indie Flip, they came closest to meeting my price. They came out, we did a nice easy deal. I left enough upside for them to uh, do the last mile of work as far as selling off these games or keeping them or whatever they wanted to do. And I got to go to this fantastic show and have my mind completely blown. As far as this haul goes, it is pretty indicative of where my collecting tastes are headed from here on out. Gross out, monsters, knockoffs, rarities, and obscure lines. Got a little bit of all that in this beautiful pile. Really can't go into everything in detail, but I do want to give you a closer look at some of this stuff. So if we have anything in common taste-wise, I'm sure you would agree that this is one of the most beautiful vintage lots you've ever seen. I don't even know where to start. Straight away, the first thing that catches my eye at a booth is this 1986 Ghoulieville bat. This thing has been on my radar for quite a while. I have never seen one in person. It does have some damage. I guess they probably normally do. These are just really cheap plastic and they were, they were designed to hit things with. But the display side is fantastic. Now I need to track down some of the Mad Balls bats, but this is going to do the trick for me for a while. We have the Mad Ball Slobulous Knee Pads. I had never seen these before. There's two of them, of course. I think they're absolutely wonderful. We have the two versions of Sun Man from Olmec Toys. One of the coolest stories in all of toy history. If you're unaware, make sure to look that one up. We also have Digitino down there, which is from the Sun Man line. Got a few accessories to track down, but they're in beautiful condition otherwise. Really happy to mark both of these off the list at once. Of course, we got some Mad Balls and some Mad Balls knockoffs. Couple nice examples from Series 1 down here. We got a nice looking Hornhead. And of course, the most controversial named Mad Ball of all. We got Mr. Crackhead right here. But not just a loose one. I also picked up this graded version. It's graded in 80. Don't really do a lot with the graded stuff, but the presentation of this I thought was wonderful. I mean, how often do you see something like that? Nice little snot face weird ball. Couple knockoffs. Here's a sealed knockoff. This is a funny ball. Picked up the whole store display of the knockoff keychains. Not quite complete. Looks like it's missing a couple there, but definitely displayable. Something that you never see. These were called Horror Balls keychains, and I just think that's a pretty wonderful piece right there. Very quickly after finding my Wolfman Monster Balls, found another Monster Ball. We have a sealed Dracula version. This one's got a little bit of ripping on the, on the front of the card there, but the card itself is in pretty nice shape. Like I said when I picked up the Wolfman version, they're usually pretty creased, so very cool to knock two off the list now. I believe that leaves two more to go. Barely two months after finding my first Filmation Ghostbusters figure, I have now completed the entire action figure line, along with most of the accessories. Missing a couple backpacks, but the figures that have weapons actually have their weapons. Futura has her headpiece, which is always missing. I believe this is a 13-figure line. They're all so tough to find. I searched for a year before I found any. Don't know if I'll get into the uh, vehicles and stuff or not. There's a playset that's almost impossible. Probably skip out on those, but I'm definitely happy to have the line at least. And just got to find a couple backpacks now. Picked up a nice little pile of the mini Boglins. Another thing I don't see very often, so I was happy to find 10 at once. Not really sure how many of these they made, but I'm going to keep tracking them down because they are small and they are awesome. Picked up a few more of the uh, KO style 5.5 inch Motu figures like the carded Galaxy Heroes. I believe this is Iguana from Galaxy Fighters maybe. We got Patch from Pirates of the Galaxies made by Remco. This just leaves me one figure to find for this line. He is missing his weapon, but he has his vest and this uh, chest belt, which are normally lost. So not bad for like 15 bucks on that one, I think. Got the carded Sun Gold Mummy monster figure. Love the artwork on this thing. I need to track down the uh, knockoff Freddy Krueger there. Very cool line. You don't see it a lot, especially carded. First one I've come across, so I was excited to find this. Beautiful Mad Balls lunchbox. Did not have the thermos. Do not care. It's just going to go up on a shelf with some more Mad Ball stuff. Got a nice display box of Topps Toxic Crusaders cards. Actually had an extra pack inside too. Other than that, it is full inside there. 
you don't see these later series monster in my pocket sets too often, especially in this good a condition with the outer box. Probably never played with. Very cool graphics on that one. Grab this towards the end of my time there, so I almost missed it. My buddy Nick from the Retro Rocket brought this gift for me. It's a bar of Street Shark soap. Thought that was pretty awesome. So then I was also able to buy my first boxed Street Shark item from him. It's a uh, Evil Power Bite Paranoid. Street Sharks is something I'm just starting to dabble in. Not sure how deep I'll go, but very happy to pick up this nice example here. The last Mattel muscle piece I've been hunting for is this boxed ring. Could not believe how hard this thing was to track down, but finally got one. Got a good deal on it. Nice displayable box. Not broken or anything inside. Very happy to finally knock this off the list. Of course, I had to pick up this amazing piece of art from Kenny Kurtz. Any sort of custom mad ball like this, I'm probably your guy on that, especially if we're in the same building. This thing has a sick head. It's almost like if they made a live action uh, Mad Balls movie or something. That's that might be what Dust Brain would look like. Super lightweight though, but super detailed. The base is very heavy duty and it's got kind of a magnetic attaching system. I think that thing is amazing. Like I said, Kenny Kurtz is the artist name and his whole table was absolutely incredible. But of course, this is the piece I needed. And then, of course, the find of the day. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know how long I've been searching for a muscle mutt. Crazy, crazy rarity in the uh, mutant animal world. Super hard to find. This line kind of has a uh, mythical mystique about it. I think there's some figures in this line that maybe no one's ever seen or very few have ever surfaced. I'm definitely not going to go too deep into this line. It's just too expensive. I just wanted one, one example to put in the collection, and I was finally able to do that with Sugar Tooth here. This is even my favorite one because of the colors. I like the green shirt. I like the blue jacket. I think it's pretty sick looking. I was able to score this from Bruce. Bruce always has great stuff. I've bought from him in the past. These things range in price anywhere from 600 bucks on up to 1500 a piece in loose condition like this. So 900 was a pretty solid deal. And then to have the Skull Force action figure thrown in, could not resist that. Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out was telling me that there were only two versions of this made. One with these green accents and one with some red accents. Probably going to try to track down the red one. I could actually see myself maybe wanting to army build this figure. But they don't show up very often, so we'll see how that goes. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya! Bye.